So the cult of Peko has actually existed for hundreds of years. Their hero, Peko, has ties to Jesus, statues of Peko are found throughout southeastern Estonia, and he even has an 8,000 verse song dedicated to him. But first, an important disclaimer. The difference between cults and religions is basically just that religions are recognized by the government, cults are not. Cults are not necessarily evil, it's just that they lack widespread recognition. In fact, I believe that the cult of Peko should be celebrated, even this one. So let's talk about the real life cult of Peko. Also, in case you don't know, Pekora is a VTuber, a streamer that uses an anime avatar that often says Peko. I'll be referencing her in this video because she's how I found out about Peko. Peko is an ancient Estonian and Finnish god of crops, a Seto people, an indigenous Finnic ethnic minority that primarily lives in southeastern Estonia and northwestern Russia, revere Pekor as their national hero. Peko is the protector of the fields, brewer of beer, and brings good luck to the community. Peko, a Seto hero, is said to be an internal sleep in a cave. If Seto people remember his advice and work hard, Peko will send them an abundance of crops. It is believed that the cult of Peko's traditions were once practiced across Karelia, eastern Finland, and eastern Estonia. The legend of Peko may even be more than 700 years old. However, the first recorded mentioning of Peko took place in 1551 by Bishop Agricola, who spoke of him as the god of Karelians. Orthodoxy came to Semoti, where the Seto people are mostly found, in the 16th century by Russian missionaries. Setos went to church with Russians and participated in religious services, but they also preserved their own traditions. The earliest written record of a wooden god was kept at St. Olaf's Church Library in Tallinn, Estonia. The oldest documented drawing of a statue is from the 1800s. The only other recorded historical feather was found in a provincial museum in Estonia in 1875. Most historical statues are assumed to have been lost during various wars, especially the World Wars. Various images or idols of Peko were hidden in worship during the time of the Russian Empire and Soviet Union as practitioners were persecuted. Peko statues are often made from old wood and shaped into a human torso with small holes in the head to place candles and during offerings. Farmers buried the effigy of their god of fertility underneath grains in storehouses. Historically, Peko figures were often kept in dark places and only taken out to fields when planting seeds to bless the land. People held nighttime rituals and festivities while hiding Peko statues in their granaries. Peko is deeply tied to Seto culture, especially due to the 8,000 verse long Peko epic. This is just one verse from the epic, it's very long. The Peko epic mostly recounts the adventures of the hero and warrior Peko, who became the god of fertility and even helped Jesus at one point. Anne Vabarna, a Setonian folk singer, created the songs of Peko in 1927. As the story goes, she was shown the 8,000 verse epic of Peko, which was only known by men at the time, and she immediately burst into song without taking a breath until she reached the last verse. However, from 1945 to 1999, Setos in Petrora, Russia decreased from 5.7 thousand to 500 people. Setoma, where the Seto primarily lived, was divided between Estonia and Russia after the fall of the USSR, and so many Setos left Russia to live in Estonia. During this time, Estonian independence also led to a revival of Seto heritage. In the past, there were three major festivities in honor of Peko. One of them had a young Seto man have a ritual fight until the first drop of blood was shed. This person would become the host of next year's feast. Black candles were lit to revere wooden idols of Peko, older men called priests of Peko would make sacrifices, and everyone would chant, Peko, Peko, come to drink the beer. Other festivities would take place after the harvest or sometime during August. This August celebration is the one that Seto is mainly focused on reviving. Recently, to connect back with their heritage, Setos choose a steward of King Peko for the Kingdom of Setoma at the annual celebration called Seto Kuninkri Khaif. This role is largely ceremonial, and the festival takes place in one of the bigger Seto villages. This celebration aims to follow tradition. The Seto anthem is sung, dancers and singers compete against one another, and Seto food and crafts are prepared. The Seto military then performs a ceremony, and after that, visitors are invited to a kermas, a Seto party with music, dancing, and lilo singing. Fun fact, Lilo singing is the Seto's own unique polyphonic style of folk singing, and it was even added to UNESCO's list of intangible culture as it is believed to be at least 1,000 years old. After the feast, leftover food is given to the poor, but before that, men could beat with each other in games of wrestling and fence jumping to win the right to keep Peko in their granary for the next year. Peko idols are kept on different farms every year as it belongs to the entire village. On top of Yumala Magi, a holy hill, a large statue of Peko can be found. People visit the hill and this Peko effigy to get blessings for themselves, their families, and their friends. This statue is said to be the most powerful of the many effigies found in the area, and so is called an energy Peko. 
Seto people often offer wool, bread, butter, curds, and coins to Peko. They also often ask Peko to look after their farms and farm animals. Peko guards crops, protects herds, and has the ability to provide a good summer while keeping hail, frost, and big storms away. Peko guards people against evil spirits who make them drink too much, and he may even have the ability to bring happiness to a marriage. And that's the legend of Peko and the practices of the cult of Peko. It's weird how Pekora led me down this rabbit hole. <laughs> but it was quite interesting. A lot of Seto history has been lost either due to conquest or due to their small population. They are one of the smallest ethnic minorities in Europe. Nonetheless, the cult of Peko has survived centuries of persecution, and Peko's legend is only growing thanks to the efforts of the Seto community in resurfacing the idols hidden away in storehouses for hundreds of years for the world to celebrate once again. And that's the end of the video. This is somewhat different from my usual content, but I enjoyed making it and I hope you enjoyed it too. And uh, yeah, I think I could start consistently uploading videos again. Also got 100 subs now, so thank you for that. And uh, yeah, as always, thank you all so much for watching.